Hello and welcome to Royal Vibes. Prince Harry, William and their wives, the Duchess of Sussex and the Duchess of Cambridge may be close to repairing their royal rift after the couples had dinner together at Buckingham Palace. So guys, as we get right into the story, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, give the video a like and please watch it right up to the very end. The Fabulous Four, which comprises the princess and your wives Kate, the new Princess of Wales and Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, have been pictured together on several occasions in this last week, sparking hopes of a reconciliation. Just last week, all four of the royals stepped out to greet well-wishers who had turned up in their droves outside Windsor Castle with flowers, heartfelt messages and tribute. It was a surprise appearance from the four who arrived together in the Audi driven Prince William and you know one that cemented talks of civil beginnings for the couples. It was the first time the Folsom had been spotted together publicly since March 2020 and it's now reported by page 6 that the brothers and their wives along with several other royal members sat down to dinner at Buckingham Palace on Tuesday night after the Queen's coffin was received. Yesterday, the brothers along with the rest of the royal family put on brave faces as they left Buckingham Palace with their late Queen's coffin as it made its final journey in the procession to Westminster Hall. The Queen's closed coffin is lying in state 24 hours a day until 6.30 a.m. on the day of her funeral which is Monday 19th of September. Walking behind the hearse and near the front of the procession behind Peter Phillips was Prince William and Harry with Kate and Meghan arriving at Westminster separately by car. It was led by King Charles III in his field marshal uniform in line with his siblings Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward. A gun carriage that had borne the coffins of her parents, the Queen Mother and King George of, um, VI, you know, carried the late monarch to Westminster Hall as funeral marches were played by military bands. The king and the senior royal saluted the coffin as it was carried by a barrier party, eight soldiers from Queen's Company 1st Battalion, um, Grenadier Guards into Westminster Hall. Thousands of well-wishers, many in tears, gathered in central London to see the late queen departing the official residence where she spent so much of her working life at the heart of the nation. Queues stretching three miles and growing and lining through the heart of the capital as many set out to see the Queen's Coffin line in state, a poignant yet historic moment in time. The Queen's Coffin was placed on a um, catafalque before the Archbishop of Canterbury conducted a short service. Dozens of wider members of the royal family attended the service including Princess Eugenie and Beatrice and their husband Zara and McTindale, Lady Lois. Windsor Vincount Seven, Lord Freddie Windsor, Prince and Princess Michael of Kent and Duke of Kent. Today, the new Prince and Princess of Wales have, you know, taken a trip to the Sandringham Estate in Norfolk to see the tributes and flowers that have been laid. Why the King is said to be taking a day of reflection. So, guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye bye.